Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. Got another uh, hurricanes and heavy rains out there today, so we're in here doing jobs again. Getting some barn money. Got uh, the cylinder head, and we're using the stop block technique again. Got a machine face here on these exhaust ports to pull up against. Now I've got to clamp down with these carver clamps like you've seen A-bomb use. Uh, I picked up two of these for the boring mill thinking they'd be useful for doing setups similar to this. To lock on and hold stuff without getting up here. I could actually mill the top of this and clear the clamps if I needed to. So that's pretty handy versus using hold downs. But we're going to see how that works anyway. Get the mill set up horizontal style. And what I got to do is face this side here flat. Somebody's already done some milling on this, but they didn't get it right. This is the customer's provided intake manifold. And what we gotta do is get this milled for this plate to go on it, and then uh, transfer all these holes over with a punch and drill and tap them out in the head. So that's what we're getting ready to do. So let's fire the mill up and get this surface ready for this, and then it can start transferring the holes. Okay, so I went ahead and held this up here where it belonged and drilled and tapped these in two holes and uh, held the manifold up there and then came back and dot punched all the holes transferred them that need to be in this. So now I'm going to take and drill them out and tap them. And then we should be able to bolt that manifold on the side.
Well, there it is. Uh, I'm not sure I thought I filmed it, but maybe I didn't. But I uh, went all over the top of this, and I'm within like a thousandth everywhere with the dial indicator. So we've got this good and flat, well within spec, and we've got good finish on it. It's smooth, but not glass smooth, because you want the gasket to have a little bit of something to bite into. Uh, so it doesn't just push out Get some friction on it, but you don't want anything big enough that you can get anything to leak past So you can't feel it, but you can you can still see the mill marks in it. Just it's like a scratch Finish I guess is what I would call it So now I gotta cut the fire ring grooves in here and this thing will be ready to go back to the customer Okay, so we've got this all milled off and I'm doing the fire rings now, cutting the grooves in here. This is what holds the cylinder pressure actually is these steel rings that get crushed. Uh, it's important that these be uh, the proper depth and more important that they're even all the way around. So I've got the mill head trammed in uh, so it's running perfectly zero zero on the indicator just using thousands i'm not doing tenths uh it's not gonna matter that much this uh, this stuff all moves several thousands when it's running uh got a lot of explosions and expansion and contraction from heat so it, it moves around a little bit that's why uh these really aren't a great deal for street use they're fine for high performance but on the street these will eventually fail and you'll be putting new rings in because they'll they'll give up from the expansion contraction. They just can't take it as good as a stock head gasket. But this is probably going to be a 80, 90 pound boost motor, so it needs something better than stock. So I've got the grooves cut out here, and I know what the bore center is, but I went ahead and marked. So I can be sure that uh, Mr. Bozo doesn't show up and screw up his head. So we got four down and two to go. I'm going to film this and let you see this cut using a uh, 120 radius uh, tool bit. I like the radius tools. I don't like the square cuts in my cylinder heads. It makes them more likely to crack. So I use round grooves. That's my style. But uh, I'll fire this mill up and cut these other two. Uh, I shut everything off so you could hear me. You won't be able to hear me, so I'll just fast forward through this cutting these last two for you. Let you see that, and then this job be done. Okay guys, so uh, there it is. This job's done. The fire ring is all set in their grooves and the gaskets and I've checked the protrusion on all of them in four different places and everything's good. We're within less than a thou over this whole head. So that's where I'd like to be. Somewhere around a half a thou. Uh, some of them are Total error is less than a thousandth. Uh, anyway, that's uh, about as good as you can get it. It's decent tolerance over 36 inches here on this old mill. So, thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing. And hope you enjoy this high performance part and maybe learned a little bit. See you later. You ready to go? Let's go. Good boy.